So we are at Burkeswell in Warwickshire, United Kingdom, and we're having a bit of a, a wander about. Lovely flowers on the graves. Um, most of them real, but uh, we're off out into the countryside. We're going past a lake, we're going past a, um, it's a very ancient wall, isn't it? And we're going uh, past a stream. Well, you'll see what we're going past. It's very appropriate as a pastor, uh, uh, given we've just been in the church. So, yeah, we just had a look in the church, so you can look at the previous video. Snowdrops everywhere. The snowdrops, uh, many of them are going over now, uh, understandably. I think those flowers in the middle there are comfrey. But, um, Now there's a bit of mud about, but it's not too bad, is it? And um, I've got to go to the airport tomorrow, uh, Birmingham Airport, because I'm seeing a friend off who's flying out to meet up with her partner uh, abroad and uh, so I shall be seeing her off and uh, she brought us flowers the Sunday before last and uh, believe it or not they're still going. Now you can see the lake across there I hope. Looks like there's a big tree down at the back there from the other day when we had the storms. Now we've got a walkway here and um, then we come past the stream and years ago I used to bring our children out here and uh, we would we would get um, tiddlers in this catch tiddlers in the stream and uh, sticklebacks and things but um, what the other thing we did was to get watercress and of course now they say they've got flutes on them, whatever flutes are, and they end up in your kidneys, so don't. But we used to, when we were kids, I used to pick them out of, this, out of the stream. As long as the water was flowing, I would pick it out of the scre screen, out of the stream. I ought to do a separate one with bloopers on, didn't I? Look, that's that big one down at the back there. If you look in the middle, I'll have a little look, shall we? There we are. Quite a big one, isn't it? Look. And now I can see a squirrel going over towards the tree. It's amazing. He's very worried about me coming along here. And yet um, in towns they come over to you. In the countryside they're they're very frightened of people. Same species of grey squirrel, and yet uh, you see him sitting at the bottom of the tree, look. Here's the lovely stream, look. Look how clean that is. So we'd be in there. I can't see any tiddlers today, but um, it's a beautifully, uh, beautiful, clean stream. I don't know where it comes from. It's coming across the field there and going out the way. But, um, Beautifully and beautiful and clean. Yes, so tomorrow we will be at the airport. I don't know if I'll get a chance to uh, film any planes taking off, landing, whatever, but it's just a chance, I suppose. Um, maybe if I see my friend onto the plane, I shall be able to watch her take off. That'll be nice. Lovely craggy oak and the lake beyond. That's nice, isn't it? You. There you go. Cheers. There's a lady jogger going by. And we've got a bit further to go. This bit's had a repair here. 
I would imagine that's an ongoing thing from time to time. But um, yes, yeah, so you may get some videos from a videos from a uh, airport tomorrow, but we will see. I've yet to arrange what time. I know what time her flight is, but I don't know what time. Um, so that'll be good. And then Sunday night we're going to a pop-up Bowie. A pop-up Bowie, so it's a that should be a good night. Everybody will be up dancing. And I'm allowed to film so well usually. So uh, maybe you'll be able to see some um, maybe you'll be able to see some um, videos of it. But uh, there we go. And then Monday, we're in rugby, where you can't film, obviously. It's a theatre that will be putting on six dead queens and an inflatable Henry. Now, I'm not 100% certain, but it sounds rather like a historical comedy. I'm just hoping it will be a, an hysterical comedy as well. The last comedy we went to was a farce in uh, Kenilworth and uh, called Birthday Suite and it was absolutely hilarious. We went with a friend and the three of us were doubled up laughing so that was that was great. Good to have a good belly laugh now and again. Now pedestrians are being sent off this way out through here. We used to go up there, but we're going this way now, which is okay. You can see the lake through the trees. You won't see it uh, in the future because it will be, um, the leaves will be on the trees and we won't be able, oh my word. There, the muddle and a puddle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting through okay. I thought there might be a bit of mud today, but I didn't put my boots on. It's more comfortable walking in in my uh, trainers. Yes, they are waterproof, but that lady's right on top of the hill over there on that little path. Can you see her? Good gracious. She's getting along, isn't she? All the reeds and stuff here are dead. So they've all got to grow back up again. I brought myself a couple of chocolate bars, as one does. Little cops of uh, furs. It's nice. This uh, video, um, I bought myself one of those gimbals to hold the camera steady, but to be honest, this uh, films so steadily, um, I, I don't really need it anymore on this camera. Wow, look at that. Lovely, lovely lake. Private land, keep to the footpath. Yes, we will. We're going to go up across the field. I'm looking forward to when we can go back to London again because um, but I need it a bit warmer. In these in-between times, in the winter it's not too bad. You put all your gear on, you keep all your gear on all day. But uh, to the in-between times, once it comes to sort of late spring, sort of Aprilish, you can go out in the morning in a t-shirt and shorts. And by the end of the day, you need an overcoat. So you've got to take a backpack with several other layers in. So you're dragging that around London. But um, we will see. From the top of this hill, you get an even better view of the lake 
So I hope wherever you are in this great big world of ours, you're keeping well. Now it's interesting, I finally sorted, uh, I finally sorted the fact that this uh, new phone can do more than 10 minutes. I'm not going to do much longer, but I need to prove it to myself that whereas the Huawei P30 Pro used to stop dead on 10 minutes and tell me I can't film anymore, then of course this one has done 10 and a half minutes more than, and uh, as much as anything, I'm just uh, spending a bit longer with it just to prove that I can. And it's a lovely, lovely feeling. I'm looking at a field that's been planted and um, I don't think it's the, the most interesting, but it does mean that I can film more. Well, I'm gonna say bye for now. We'll start filming further down our walk. So thank you for watching. This is the Rambling Rambler, rambling through Berkswell, Warwickshire, United Kingdom. Thank you for watching.